Okay, so uh, this is for my buddy who's got a bum knee. Um, I'm not sure if this is going to be able to help you. One of the things I noticed when I when my knees were hurting, it was because uh, I wasn't staying consistent enough. Um, I would ice it uh, if you need to use ibuprofen, but it's definitely um, high stress on the leg when you're boxing. So, for example, this drill is going to point out exactly why. When you're boxing, when you move forward, you really need to get this underneath you to the point that you can lift this foot and not really go anywhere. It means you're really on that back leg. And yes, you are actually, when you're punching, all your weight is on one leg, such that you can lift up one leg. That's why this drill is done by so many boxers. Because really, you are punching on one leg at that point. Just like when you're here, you can lift that foot up almost, and it makes no difference to this punch hurting a guy, as long as this foot is really on the ground. This is just here to give you a little bit of stability. So now what I want to point out is, when you move forward, you really got to bring this underneath you and stay low. For me, it's almost at a 45 degree angle because I like to stay low and punch up. This is how Mike Tyson fights. He would stay low and he would use his slipping and his compression and right from there he would counter punch up into guys. Make sure when you're moving forward, you really tuck this underneath you. Don't let it sit behind you there. Tuck it up underneath you. That'll put more pressure on the guy. 